This is Mario with MIA Microflight, and uh, this is a Sapphire Bluer uh, Plus 5 machine, um, or just a Sapphire Plus 5 machine that uh, I bought not too long ago. And uh, while running the machine in the, in the first uh, week, this fan gave out, it locked up. So I ended up uh, replacing that fan in the process of removing the fan. I noticed that also these uh, fan shrouds, the original ones, these are mine by the way, these white ones, the original ones were broken at the uh, mounting places uh, where these screws go on. You can see the, uh, let's see if my camera can focus in on that. Okay, so that right fan went out, and so these shrouds here, they broke. So I ended up uh, redesigning the, the shrouds, make them, make them a, a lot beefier, and I did them in white uh, PLA. These were originally PLA 3D printed. Unfortunately, you know, the only 3D printed parts in this machine are these shrouds here. I don't know why two trees, you didn't just uh, go with uh, injection molded parts, you know, it would... Uh, <laughs> It would have been a lot better, you know, just to have these parts uh, injection molded in ABS, which is a lot stronger than a 3D printed part. But I ended up making these uh, uh, in PLA. I mean, they, they could also be printed in P ABS. Um, but, you know, I wanted to uh, replace these uh, rather quick. And so PLA was the, the, uh, the way I, I went with these. But they're a lot better than the uh, original fans that were there. They're, they're broke as I was, uh, you know. Apparently they broke. Maybe they were tightened uh, a little too tight when they during assembly, and these uh, tabs here uh, broke. Uh, uh, they they were broken when when I went to replace this fan. So I ended up replacing these, and I also went and bought uh, um, some additional fans, and I you know replaced this fan at my own cost. But that was an issue with this machine. The first week that I got it, this fan went locked up. So that's uh, you know that's a quality control issue. I'm doing this video because two trees you have requested that I send photos of this uh, issue with this machine. I have two issues with two machines that I bought. I actually bought three machines uh, from uh, two trees. One of them is still in the box, uh, a Bluer Plus 5. My other Bluer Plus 5, the one that I opened and I've been, I was using, that one developed an issue with the board. Uh, it almost caught on fire and I did a, a full video on that and I sent that video already twice or more times you know to two trees because they keep asking me where's the video where's the video so i keep sending them the video and i just keep getting delayed and delayed and delayed and you know months have gone by with no real resolution to that uh to that issue um i do understand that uh there was a chinese holiday and maybe that that was part of some of the delays but you know this company you you guys are very very slow at responding to customers and that just leaves a, a bad taste in our in our mouths because uh, as, a, as a consumer of your products because you know nobody's going to buy your products when you don't have a uh, uh, support that uh, follows uh, you know the, the the products you you have a nice product and I've said this many times I really like your machines machines are solid and you can see how I've been printing uh, a, a lot of parts here and I bought this part because of the the volume uh, larger volume than my Anycubic i3 megas I've been using i3 megas with no with no uh, uh, real issues on those machines every machine you know requires a little tweaking a little uh a little um, um uh investment in, in time in the setup and just making sure that everything's running fine and sometimes you have issues you know with power supplies and things of that nature but uh you know i've um with the anycubic guy through megas i've never really had any serious is issues so those have been my the, the machines of my choice and i have several of those machines that i've been using since the, the i3 mega came out and it, it, to this day you know even though those machines may may be a little bit uh, uh old-fashioned and or archa archaic by uh, today's uh, uh technology and the stuff that's out there those machines are, are very solid and very consistent in producing parts never had any issues however these Two trees machine uh, machines, although they're very solidly made, I had issues, you know, right away from from the beginning, you know, with some of these uh, some of these things. And I think it's just a little more. Uh, they, I think your company needs to concentrate a little more on uh, um, on uh, quality control. You know, just make sure that these things are are done properly and you know installed the, the proper measures in, in your quality control 
uh, system so that these machines are double checked, you know, before they go out to the customers. Therefore, the customer is not uh, does not encounter these uh, these uh, these problems, and it can result. You know, sometimes they're minor, sometimes they're major. This is a minor problem because it's just a fan in the shrouds. But on the other one, on the Bluer Plus, that I uh, did a full video on that on, on the issues that I had with the board that almost caught on fire, and then they sent me a replacement. It was the wrong replacement for the, with the with, for, for the wrong version of machine that had issues that and it, and the board burned and the the, the drivers burned. So. You know, it's just making sure that those things are, are addressed, you know, and, and uh, with more attention, because if you send the wrong driver for the wrong machine, you know, you're go you know, the customer is going to have issues with that, uh, especially a customer that's putting the trust on the on the company that they're, that they're, they're sending them the, the, the right uh, components. In my case, I didn't receive the right components and I had issues with the board, the board you know, uh, fried the, uh, the drivers and the drivers. So that's on another video. So I have two issues. One is with a major issues with the Bluer Plus 5. It's a Bluer Plus 5, not, not the version 3, not the older version, but the Plus 5. I have two of those machines. The other one's still in the box. I don't know uh, um, when I'll, I'll be using that machine. I bought it as a, as a kind of a backup, but that machine's still in the box. I have not used that. I don't know if I'll, I'll run into the same issues that I had with my first Bluer Plus that I've been trying to get uh, uh, some, uh, some uh, support you know, from, uh, from the company. Uh, in a timely fashion, you know, the key word here is timely fashion, you know, it's not, you know, uh, support after two, two, three months, you know, after the fact, you know, by that time, you know, the customer is going to give up and it's probably going to get rid of the machine or just uh, get his money back. I don't want to get my money back with these machines. I like that. Like I said, the structure of these machines are, are very solid. Yeah, they have a, you know, a few little issues. Like I have a, a little issue with, uh, with, with this belt here. I don't think the belt is, uh, is precise. So there's a little bump here. So when I print parts, they're not really precise. You know, there's a little jaggedy uh, uh, print that, that does a little jaggedy movement here as, as the machine is moving. So, but I think that's more with uh, either the, the belt or the... Um, uh, issue with the belt or maybe with the, the pulleys that are not truly concentric so anytime you, you don't have a concentric you're not going to have that as precise of a movement uh, throughout the, uh, the, the, the the complete um, uh, travel and so but the, the, you know I, I can live with that you know so and this and like I was saying this is a minor issue with this uh, Sapphire Plus so I'm doing this video with the issue that I had with the Sapphire Plus that fan burned I replaced, I redid my uh, my own shrouds there because I, I wasn't getting uh, feedback from this company in a timely fashion. So how do you want to handle this? It's up, I'll leave it up to, to trees.